Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you download and install a Windows Apache MySQL PHP development environment. For this demonstration I've chosen to use EasyPHP, which you can obtain from www.easyphp.org, which is the site you can see right now. It allows you to develop PHP MySQL type sites uh, and also do personal web hosting. Now we're going to be doing development, so we want the development version, which is this red box here. We click on the download link, and you'll see it presents us with two alternatives, which are version 13.1 VC9, which supports PHP version 5.4, and also goes back as far as supporting Windows XP. So if you have WinXP, that's the version you want. On the other hand, if you are using Windows 7 or 8, a slightly more up-to-date version is version 313.1 VC11, and you can download that by clicking on this link here. So I click on the link, it takes us to a download page, and as you can see, the download should start automatically. If not, there's a link at the top of the page. Now I have one that I've downloaded previously because I wanted to test the installation on another machine, so I'm going to cancel out of the, the uh, download and go to my download library, where you can see we find Easy PHP Dev Server 13.1 VC11 Setup.exe. Double clicking on that should start the installation. We get the usual uh, warning about the uh, uh, publisher could not be verified because it's not signed by a Microsoft signed uh, uh, key. So we'll run that installation. Choose English language for installation. And now we get the, the standard kind of install wizard. Uh, so, click on Next, and we get all the usual kinds of license agreements. Because this is all open source software, there are a variety of licenses. Some of it's under the PHP license, some of it's under the Apache license, some of it's GPL. We generally want to just simply accept the agreement and click on Next. Now, as they say here, it is a development tool, not a production tool. We will, in fact, deploy on a Linux server. So let's click on Next. It selects an appropriate installation uh, directory. I'm installing on Windows 7 64-bit, so it's chosen the C colon slash program files brackets x86 directory tree. Click on Next. Again, where is going to put its start menu. We accept that and click on Next. And from this point onwards, the installation should be substantially automatic. Now, the install runs. It'll take a few minutes to complete. There's only a few seconds in this machine, which is fairly new and fairly fast. And now we can go ahead and launch EasyPHP. In theory, you notice that we get a system error here saying the program can't start because msvcr110.dll is missing from your computer try reinstalling the program to fix this problem. Well, not a problem. We simply go to a download site. The URL will be posted on iLearn. It's www.microsoft.com slash en dash us slash download slash details dot aspx question mark id equals 300679. And we download the Visual C++ runtime. English language don't really want all the details, I know this is the right one. Click on download. We want the 32-bit version, which you can see here is VC Redist x86. The reason is all this is a 64-bit machine. Of course, the code uh, for the Easy PHP stack is 32-bit code. Click on next. The download starts automatically. It's only 6.2 megabytes. So it's only going to take a few seconds to download. Double click. Click on Run. Agree. Install. Allow it to make the changes and Win 7. And now we should be able to successfully run the EasyPHP setup. 
So now that PHP, Easy PHP is installed, let's just check that's working correctly. Easy PHP actually installs itself into the system tray. So on a Windows 7 machine, you'll find it down in the right hand corner. Here's the little squarish Easy PHP icon. If I double click, we should get a little status uh, window that shows that it actually has started. We can see Apache is running. The MySQL database has started as well. So that confirms that everything is running correctly. If you were to close that window, you, of course, it quits Easy PHP, so we'll just minimize it again. Now, if I right click on that icon and choose, for example, administration, it opens up a browser window. Notice it's talking to the loopback address 127.0.0.1, which is um, the loopback local machine. We can see an administration page, and in particular, down here is a little code tester window, uh, which allows you to put in some PHP code and just quickly uh, test it. So if we click on interpret, you can see here's the code, and here's the output, the current date, Saturday, July 13th, 2013. And so you can experiment this with this uh, to test any PHP code that you're working on. 